Hey y'all, and welcome back. In this DIY video, we're going to be discussing how to set up sensors on your Vivint home security panel. So we ordered these window sensors, and they were around $18 a peach, which is significantly lower than what Vivint sells them for. Also, you don't need a technician to come out to your house and set these up. I'm going to show you how easy it is. Alright, so this is the window sensor that we bought off Amazon. It says 2 gig and Vivint compatible door and window sensor new that's the uh, numbers on the barcode and I'm gonna try to provide a link in the description below so let me unbox this for you real quick so you can see what it comes with it comes with a sticky pad or you can mount it with screws this is your sensor <clears throat> and this is the magnet that the sensor detects when a window is open and closed. And this also comes with screws or a sticky attachment pad. So you can choose however you want to set it up, whatever works best for your windows. All right, so these are your sensors out of the box. I put them together, just put the uh, plastic protector piece on here. <clears throat> now this comes with a piece of plastic covering the batteries, right? So, in order to get it to work, there's a little clip here on the side. You just pop this open. And your batteries and the plastic pieces are right there. So you're just going to slide that plastic out so that way the batteries can make good connection and you'll have power to your sensor. Just like so. Now I'm going to put the cover back on and then we'll go to the panel and we'll program this to the panel since it's now live. Alright so now that you have your sensor out of the packaging it's time to set it up to your home security panel. So right here is the main display screen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this button right here with three dots. That's your settings button. Then you're gonna to go to devices. Click on devices. Now here you're gonna enter your four digit pin. Okay, now that we're in your devices, the only thing that you're gonna do is click on add device, and then you're into your device toolbox. Now if you are unable to access this, all you have to do is call up Vivint and tell them to unlock your toolbox, and they will. You don't need to tell them why, just say that you want to add some devices to your home security system and they'll unlock it for you. Now that you're in your device toolbox, what you need to do is click on whatever sensor you're going to install. For me, it's the window sensor right here. So I'm going to click on it and now I'm going to hold the sensor near the, near the, oh right there, just said device found. So it was that fast. All I did was click on it, held the sensor about a foot from it, and it found the sensor. So now, I'm gonna click on what it is. For me, this is gonna be a window. And then, uh, where am I gonna put the sensor? We're gonna uh, change it to our own personal name. So we're gonna click on other, and we're just gonna label it boys room. and then done. So now that it's named, now we're just gonna connect it. So press connect, and then all you're gonna do is open the sensor just a little bit, and right there it says device found. Now this device is named, and it's set up and ready to go on your window. All right, since I was showing you guys the screen on the display here on the wall, I'll show you exactly what I did. So when it asked me to verify, all I did was go like this, simulating that the window is opening, and then it verified it on the control panel. That's all you have to do after it's connected. All right, y'all, hope you enjoyed what you saw here today. Hope I saved you some money, and hope I helped clarify any questions that you might have. If you like what you saw here today, Help me out and give me a thumbs up on this video. Also, hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that has Vivint,
go ahead and share this with them so they can save some money at home as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.